So let's get started on this, on the actual tuning guide and the age-old question of how to tune M50 manifold, which is being asked a million times online over and over again. This is one of the reasons why I did this guide now. Now, I didn't come up with all of these tuning steps. This is more or less just what I have learned over the last two years, tuning uh, the car myself, reading online, studying, trying out different things that have already been posted online. So this is more or less, you can say, a summary, brief summary of those steps. So what is it and why even why are we talking about this so when the uh, m52 engine series was introduced um, and succeeded the m50 engine series uh, bmw did do a change in the intake manifold size they implemented a smaller runner size intake which um, help to optimize torque output at low and mid rpm and also of course fuel efficiency and emissions which is uh, shown here this is the m52 uh, stock version manifold um, there are some pros to this of course you have good torque at low and mid rpm when you get off the line um, you have uh, better fuel efficiency if you don't have to rev the engine uh, so much to get up to speed and of course lower emissions uh, resulting in lower emissions um, on the negative side of course this small size intake with the uh, long skinny runners does limit the max power output at high rpm meaning the engine is more or less choked you can say above a certain rpm and power limited due to the intake so it is a little bit less rev happy when you get up in the rev range above let's say 5500 it really starts to drop uh, fast and you can feel it also that something is restricting it and um, acting as a limiter more or less so basically this is less fun um, to drive and what to do against it um, there's the old version m50 manifold called swap much bigger in size you can see here a small comparison uh, between the two models two intake models the old style m50 and the newer style m52 uh, these are photos I gathered on the internet so I did try to put the sources in where I collected the information like I said this is more or less of a summary uh, and a guide just to combine everything and to have it in one document so, as you can see here, um, the M52 manifold ports are much smaller compared to the M50 ports. Um, the size of the M50 is 45 millimeters compared to 55 uh, in, in width to the M50. Um, I mean, you can clearly see it here on the picture with the skinny runners and here the short, uh, thick runners and air collector box. Um, when I was researching online, I found also interesting posts that someone actually flow bench tested these two manifolds against each other. And it clearly shows here that the M50 manifold fold flows much better for more volume than the uh, M52 manifold. Um, here's the source of this, uh, this post uh, link and basically to sum it up um, someone uh, written a pretty good summary of this that the uh, m52 intake manifold doesn't let the engine breathe as well at higher rpms however this small intake is better at making lower end torque this is a fact so if you want to get the max power out of your m52 
This is still, in my opinion, the best bang for the buck to install or swap the old style M50 manifold on your engine. You can get these used still for a reasonable price and you get at least the most horsepower gain out of it than doing other things. So you can swap to the old version. Now I'm not going to go into what you need to change on the engine to do the actual installation on it. There, it's not one-to-one one -one plug and play. There are some things that need to be changed or adapted, but this is another topic and also there is tons of videos online about this. So basically the, the intake resonance on the M52 manifold is tuned for low mid-range torque whereas the M50 is tuned for mid-range high-end torque or high RPM flow power. Now this is a post I found, old, old post on bimaforums.com. This is the source. 